Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I have my Best of Sewing Awards of 2020. Okay, so I felt like everybody was doing, you know, a review of their year 2020 in sewing, and I thought maybe I would do a little twist on it by having a little mini award show. So I'm going to go through some of my favorites, least favorites, etc., in the style of an award show, and I am also going to put at the end a video of everything I made for myself in 2020. Now, before I forget, because last time I forgot to tell you guys what I was wearing, this is my toaster sweater. This is probably my very favorite toaster sweater. Um, I've made at least three, maybe four. This is Toaster 2, I believe, by Soho 7. I will link it below. And this is in an awesome um, pinstripe knit that I got at a an amazing sale in Toronto of a men's store, and they were selling some fabric. And actually, I think that they have started an online fabric store, if I'm not mistaken. So if so, I will link that below. All right, so I'll put pictures of all of the nominees and then we will choose the winner. So first, let's start with make of the year. Let's go big, right? Let's start with best picture. Okay, so for make of the year, the three nominees are my Paola jacket hack. So I'll put a picture here. Uh, this was my attempt to copy the Will jacket by Cezanne. And I had so much fun working on this. This was really a puzzle that I was trying to figure out. The process was amazing. I still absolutely love the final product. Uh, this was in black denim. I made this in the spring, and so I didn't really get a lot of use out of it in the beginning. But this fall, I got so much use out of it, and I know I will use it again in the spring. Um, yeah, I was really, really proud of that one. Okay, second is my Audi Playsuit Hack. So I'll put a picture of that in. This is the Audi play suit by Amy Nicole Studios. And this bodice is like my favorite bodice. She's actually, since I did this hack, she's made it, she sort of did a how-to of the same hack. I think, or maybe it's even like a separate pattern add-on. I can't remember, but she's kind of showed you how to do that as well. Uh, I was so proud of myself again for figuring this out because I had to draft the waistband and I had to figure out, you know, the how much fabric I needed for the skirt and the length and also the pattern placement because it's a really big print, which is not my usual. Uh, this is a beautiful Minerva, I believe it's a viscose linen blend, uh, drapes so beautifully. Again, I got so much use out of this dress in the summer. I would use it on date nights. Uh, I actually had planned to try and wear it into the fall with a sweater, but I never ended up doing that, but really, really proud of this. And it just, it felt very, um, very professional and pretty. Okay, and lastly are the Morgan jeans. Um, that was a big accomplishment as well. I loved them because I had, you know, worked, I'd never made jeans before, so all the hardware there goes into it, all the fitting, um, the zipper, the fly front, all that kind of stuff. Jeans are a process, and I was really proud of myself for, you know, just kind of going for it and persevering. Now, I have to say, I didn't have to do any fitting except for I based them together, tried them on, realized they were too big, sized down one. Other than that, I didn't have to do any, you know, fitting adjustments. But, you know, I don't know, just the whole process of it for me was lots of fun and the product is I'm so pleased. I never expected they'd fit so well. They have not sagged on me at all. This is a Minerva 14 ounce Lady McElroy denim. Um, again, I'll link to it below. Totally recommend that. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna link to my Minerva page because all of these are on there and they will have the fabrics right there. So that's probably easiest. Um, so yeah, I really, really love how they turned out and I wear them all the time. Okay, so drum roll please. Make of the year, the Audi play suit hack. Yay, congratulations. Uh, yeah, that one just, uh, it just feels special. I love to wear it. And yeah, that's my favorite make of the year. It was close though, it was close. Okay, number two, my least favorite make of the year. Yin and yang, baby, you gotta balance it out, right? So number one was my Berta Athleisure pants. So they don't look too bad in the picture, but number one, they're too big. And number two, that fabric was just not the right choice. It's shiny. It kind of makes that swooshing sound when I walk. I, I think I've worn them once since I made them. Yeah, those were unfortunately a fail. Um, number two, my first Adrian top. 
it's the black and white one. I made it too big. The front, the um, neck facing on the front kind of gapes forward. I could fix it and make it smaller, but as a make, and number three, my first try at the Pietra shorts by Closet Case Patterns. Again, too big. The crotch is really baggy. I ended up trying to turn them into a skirt. I, I do wear the skirt sometimes. It's very short, as lots of people were quick to point out to me. <laughs> um, and so that doesn't get a ton of wear either. So I'd say those three are my least successful makes of the year. Uh, and the winner of the illustrious least favorite make of the year award is the Bird Athleisure pants. They were just, yeah, ill-advised. Okay, number three, favorite refashion. So you guys know I love to thrift stuff. I love to refashion stuff. Um, so here in Barcelona or near Barcelona, there are some great thrift stores with great deals. And so I love to go down there. But of course, in the last chunk of time, that's been a bit of a challenge. So I probably haven't done refashions as much as I have in previous years, but I still have three faves. Okay, so number one is the cami dress hack. I used the True Bias Ogden cami and I hacked this dress. So I'll put a before and after picture. It's a big kind of oversized dress. I got it for five euros, I think, in a local shop. And it was in like the discount bin. And But I love the pattern. I love that little pattern. And so I took the Ogden cami and I lengthened it and I made this dress. And it, I, used the, I used the tie front, the, um, the little tie for the drawstring. I used that for the straps. And it, I got a lot of use out of that. I was surprised because it's 100% polyester and especially in summer, I don't tend to wear polyester, but because it was so light and so bare, I could get away with it and I got a lot of use. Okay, number two is actually another refashion from that same shop is another Audi play suit. This was my first Audi play suit and I used a contrast fabric in the center and I turned it into a shorts version of the Audi play suit, kind of as my wearable muslin, but it turned out really, really cute. And then the third one, which was quite simple, but very effective is I shortened a halter dress from a full length that was quite hot because it has two layers of gauze. And so in the summer, two layers of gauze is actually quite, quite warm. Um, and I shortened that and it turned out really, really sweet. Okay, and the winner is the Ogden cami dress. I got the most use out of that. It was really super quick. And I think that I'm going to do it again this year for sure with something. Okay, now on to best hack. I love to hack a pattern. I love to take a pattern that I already have printed out, cut out, put together, whatever, fitted. I know it's gonna work. I've sewed it before, so I know it'll be fast and I love to hack it. So here are my three favorite hacks of 2020. So the Paola jacket has to be on that list um, because I took the Paola as my base pattern to make the Will Cezanne. And uh, I would actually make that pattern as is, but it was a really, really great base pattern to hack into that jacket. Number two is the French poetry pliad dress that I had made in like a teal color and then I hacked it into a sleeveless knit dress. So I took out the zipper, I took off the sleeves, um, I reworked the neckline a tiny bit and I ended up with a knit version of that dress and I got a lot of use out of that. And then lastly is my second version of the Adrian blouse, <laughs> one of my losers from the least fave category. Uh, and I made a dress version out of viscose jersey from Cal Joanne. And oh my goodness, that dress got so much use. It was light, it was breezy, it was comfortable. It was totally secret pajamas. I did size down a size, which made all the difference. And that hack was spot on. Okay, so which is my favorite hack specifically for the hack properties of 2020? Yeah, it's the dress, the Adrian dress. I think that that dress just turned out so beautifully and it was an easy hack to do, but really effective and I got a ton of use out of it. Now I'd like to give an honorable mention for my favorite fabric squeeze of 2020 because I love to rotate, rotate, Tetris things together to get the most out of a small piece of fabric. And even though I don't have three things for this category, I'm still going to give one of those teeny, teeny little statuettes to my Cali shirt that I got out of this beautiful fabric from Nunoya. It is Atelier Brunette cotton. And uh, on the pattern, it's supposed to be 1.4 meters for this version. And I got it out of, I believe, 82 centimeters. 
centimeters. So maybe even 78 centimeters. So I was very pleased with that. It was my wearable muslin to check the fit and it turned out to be a great top. So little statuette for my Cali. And our final category is my fave selfless make. So I made several things for my husband and my kids this year. Um, and my girls are more and more into wearing the things that I make for them, which is really fun. So I have three favorites from 2020. Okay, so first off in this category are the cargo shorts that I made for my husband. This is a Jali pattern and they turned out so great. And it was funny because they probably sat half made on my sewing table for two weeks because I was putting off learning how to put in a zipper fly. And it just goes to show you that just bite the bullet and learn the technique, for goodness sake. We all have to just learn stuff. And, uh, and I followed a, a tutorial step by step and it turned out great with the exception that I put it on the wrong side. So my husband has to zip them up in the unnatural way for a man to zip up pants. Um, so, eh, okay, like, yes, that part wasn't so good, but other than that, they, they look like a pair of cargo shirts you'd get from the shop, and I, I really love that. Number two is Lily's romper. And this is a romper that I made from some Katya, um, Katya jersey that I got at my local. The Katya jersey is so beautiful and just it's wonderful, wonderful weight and it wears so well and it washes so well. It's excellent, excellent quality. And I copied a romper that she already had that she loved. And so I went through the process of, you know, taking a pattern and figuring it out and whatever. And in the end, it turned out beautifully. And then lastly is another kind of simple one, but very effective, Audrey's boiler suit, flight suit. Um, this was, we got this at a local shop and they actually did have a shorter version of it, but not in her size. And so rather than buy the wrong size, which was never gonna fit her, we got the full length version and I made it from long sleeves and full length pants to short sleeves and shorts. And it was looked so cute on her. She absolutely loved it. I have a feeling coming up to summer, it's not gonna fit her, but it will fit Lily coming up and it was really, really effective. Okay, so the winner of the final category is the cargo shorts. I don't make things for my husband very often, but um, these cargo shorts, he needed them badly. He's one of those people that wears his clothes into the ground, has them for years and years and years, and he's also very specific about what he wants. So the fact that I made him a pair of shorts that he really likes, that fit him really well, that I know he's gonna wear for years and years, highly satisfying. All right, so those are my best of 2020. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite category or a favorite winner? Or do you think that maybe I gave the statuette to the wrong garment? Tell me below, let me know. I'm also putting in here a video of everything that I made for myself in 2020. Uh, I have to say, I feel like I did move my sewing forward this year. I learned some new skills. I learned buttonholes. I forgot to even say that. Yeah, I did. I learned buttonholes, so that was a big one. And I've learned, you know, to kind of translate my style into my sewing rather than just sewing the things I figure I can make. Do you know what I mean? That's the difference, right? Is, is making things that you want rather than wanting the things that you figure you can make. All right, guys, I have some awesome plans coming up, some beautiful fabrics that will be up next and I hope to see you soon. If you enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do let me know something below. Just comment. It's really, really good for the channel and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.